Hello, welcome back to Rich Drive. Today I'm going to find out what the problem is with this vehicle. It's a vehicle of 660 cc's. It's a Daihatsu vehicle. The owner has been complaining it has a poor fuel uh, efficiency. And so I'm going to scan it. Even though he has an idea of what the problem may be, a scan will produce the specific problem. Of course, with the check engine light on, that's a pointer. But a check engine may uh, be an indicator of a small problem or a big problem or multiple problems. So it's best to scan to find out specifically what we are talking about and to know what the problem is with this vehicle. Now as often I don't just do a check engine light scan, I do a scan of all the vehicle systems and this will give me a better picture of what I'm dealing with here. Now the scan is complete, we have the DTC P0135, this is the O2 sensor heater circuit bank 1 sensor 1. This is a good pointer, that sensor 1 is the air fuel ratio sensor, that's the best name to give it. And it uh, is the one which de determines how much fuel is being injected into your in combustion chamber. It instructs the engine control unit or the engine computer on the amount of fuel to inject into the uh, uh, combustion chamber. It has four wires as you can see here. The modern uh, auto sensors have this. Two are the heater wires, uh, the same color. In this case they are black. Then we have the blue and the white wire. The blue is the signal and the white is the return. So these are uh, black wires from the heater circuit which must be complete for the heater to work. And remember these auto sensors require a certain temperature in order for them to work. If that temperature has not been reached, then they will not give any signal to the ECU. If there is a problem with their heater wire, then they will not give the signal. Now what are the causes of the P0135 DTC? Now the, when you start up your engine, the ECM uh, will test and see if there is uh, excessive current to draw, opens or shorts in your oxygen sensors. If it finds any of these problems, then it will bring or cause this P0135 code to be set. Now what will you see if you have the P0135 code? On startup, of course your ECM will not have any signal because your auto sensor will not have been heated up. And therefore your engine will run rough until this operating temperature has been reached. And uh, of course you will have poor fuel uh, economy. We will have no fuel uh, economy to speak because your vehicle will go into uh, limp mode which will uh, basically remove all economy modes. Therefore as much fuel as possible will be used in order for your engine to run. And of course the other thing is that your check engine light will be on. Now let's move on and see what really is happening with the O2 sensor. That is the first O2 sensor, it's the first sensor after the exhaust manifold. And here it is, and on first look, I can see it is bent. It seems something bent it. A good O2 sensor is usually straight, as you've seen in the past, in the previous uh, picture. This one looks bent from all angles. Let's compare it with a good one. This is a straight one, it's not so good seen uh, better days but it's straight but compared to this this one seems bent seems something hit it from one side and it's bent backwards and this may be the reason why the heater sensor is broken and or is not working now if you look at this vehicle you can see there's damage here at this point where we have the lock and if you move across the front here over the lamp, we have this uh, place where the lamp is bolted to the body. There is a filler which uh, has been used there. Sorry, there is a, a fiber. On this other side too, on the lamp, there is also fiber which has been used to repair that point. It seems that uh, this vehicle was hit from the front. 
leading to the bending of this oxygen sensor and breaking the heater circuit. That's why we have a check engine light telling us uh, on telling us that uh, the heater circuit has uh, is not continuous. Now we may go ahead and diagnose other issues with the heater circuit, but this one is a good pointer. This vehicle needs a new oxygen sensor. Now I can go ahead and clear this uh, code just to confirm that that's what's causing the check engine to be on. Remember, deleting the codes or putting off the MIL light does not solve the problem. In this case, we need a new O2 sensor or air fuel ratio sensor. Otherwise, this vehicle will, con will have the check engine light come back again and continue to have poor fuel mileage. If you like this content, kindly consider subscribing, liking, and sharing. Thank you.